Good morning ladies and gents, I'm back with another Conqueror's Blade video and I usually do the patch notes in my weekly Friday news, however the patch notes for tomorrow, the 27th or the 5th 2021 are quite interesting and I wanted to make you aware of them before they actually drop in a maintenance update which will begin tomorrow morning. So since they've been released in Season 6, Liao's Rangers have always always been considered way too overpowered and just in need of a serious nerf to kind of balance the unit in terms of all the other cavalry units all the other units in the game and the news today from the patch notes is definitely <laughs> very unexpected what so ever so frontier recently the other or the chinese version of conqueror's blade which is the version which kind of gets patches and stuff and most of it does come over to our side of the game as well however not everything does and this is definitely one of those things that hasn't come over because in the frontier version the liao's rangers have just had a very serious nerf in our version of the game so the version coming tomorrow with the maintenance patch it's actually i would say looking at it it is actually a slight buff to the house <laughs> rangers is what we're getting which i don't think any of us were expecting whatsoever and it's going to be very interesting tomorrow to actually see how much this buff does give to the house rangers so so what is happening tomorrow is they are reducing the amount of units and warlords that Liao's Rangers bludgeon and gun charge skills can hit. So that is the nerf part of the change to the Liao's Rangers. So they are no longer going to be able to hit as many targets. However, they have increased the blunt armor penetration of bludgeon by 15% and it's blunt damage by 10%. Some very big increases right there. They've improved the targeting of bludgeon skill. It will no longer prioritize attacking the same target. So actually, even though the overall amount of targets has been reduced, every single Liao's Ranger in your unit is going to or should target a different uh, enemy now. So actually, I don't think we're going to notice too much of a change in terms of the amount of uh, enemies being hit. The damage from the skill uh, bludgeon now triggers earlier during its attack and is now more accurate which I think is a massive buff to their bludgeon skill and the skill gun charge has had its targeting calculation calculations improved so that can be better attempt to hit its target cap overall the Liao's Rangers just from reading the patch notes which are now official out on the news website which I will drop a link in the description box below for you I have read these a few times just to make sure that I uh, totally understand what is happening with the Liao's Rangers tomorrow and I would say overall the Liao's Rangers are getting a buff in terms of our game it's going to be interesting to see actually how like how how much this changes with the Liao's Rangers so even though they have had a nerf in the amount of targets which the skills can hit because now the skills are going to be more accurate the all, all the troops or all the Liao's Rangers in the unit are now going to be targeting different targets as well I don't think that nerf is going to actually really be noticeable to be honest i think we're going to see a even more widely used house <laughs> rangers for the next few weeks it's going to be very interesting tomorrow to see actually how much this does change them so just going through the other patch notes as well there's been a very slight change to the shield maidens they have had their unit kits crafting amount actually reduced a little bit so they are easier to craft for and during season seven their unit kits have been reduced to 4,000 bronze coins each instead of 5,000, which is quite nice. Palace Guards have had a big old buff as well. I'm very looking forward to actually playing at the Palace Guards again. Luckily, I managed to actually get them maxed out the other day, which I actually did a video a few weeks ago about the Palace Guards. So if you've not yet played them, if you've not really seen much about them, I'll leave you a link down in the description box below for that video as well. Definitely go over and check that one out. But the Palace Guards have had their Shield Rush skill 
cooldown reduced to 45 seconds down from 60 which 15 seconds in battle is quite a long time they have also had a new skill added which is guard the throne so the palace guards squat down and assume a defensive position reducing the time charge damage they take from the front and becoming immune to crowd control effects for five seconds that's really powerful if popped off in the right place their attacks while in defensive position increase the damage enemies take from palace guards other skills as well so again massive old buff to their damage output and while they are in a defensive position the palace guards gain access to for the power skill the palace guards gain a quick boost to their movement speed while moving towards the enemy and knocking them back with their shields it's good to see they are trying to really buff up the palace guards they are a very underutilized unit at the minute and actually playing them the other day for that video review that i did of them i actually found they're nowhere near as bad as people made them out to be this is a good buff for them and i'm very intrigued to actually see how much of a change this makes to the unit after tomorrow's maintenance i'm very much looking forward to giving these guys a go again so there's a couple other bug fixes and everything but i'm going to cover all that in the weekly friday news video because there's nothing too major there let me know your thoughts about these patch notes though especially about the Liao's rangers were you expecting a buff in terms of increased damage and accuracy and stuff i definitely wasn't i thought they were going to get nerfed into the floor just like some of the other units which have been in the past which have been deemed too overpowered it's going to be interesting to see actually what these changes do do to the lighthouse rangers tomorrow thank you very much for watching though folks i hope you enjoyed this one as always hit that like hit that sub share this video around and i hope to catch you out on the battlefield